What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. We're now going on day four or five. I don't know. I'm starting to lose count since the days of some ordinary gamers and Carl Jobs making videos about the completionist and his questionable tax returns for his open hand foundation of dementia and how these tax returns have proved that nothing has ever been donated even though Gerard himself was caught on a call saying that he found out about this a couple years ago and still never did anything about it. It's just a very weird situation. And while there hasn't been much that's transpired since those initial videos coming out, the silence from Gerard has been deafening and the public perception of him is starting to turn. Smash JT. Hit the subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for my latest article talking about the public perception of Gerard the Completionist and how it's spiraling the drain. In the world of YouTube and online communities, public perception can be as volatile as it is influential. A recent example of this is the growing skepticism surrounding Gerard the completionist Khalil and his open hand charity. This is something that when I made my initial video getting the word out there that Carl Jobs and some ordinary gamers Muda got the information that this tax return looked super sketch and people were a bit hesitant to accept this right up front. There was a lot of people defending Gerard. Oh, let him talk, let him say something. Let's wait to hear what he has to say to get his side of the story, when all the time, the information has been there right in front of our face. And on top of that, Gerard already did get his word in there with a recorded discussion between Carl Jobs and some ordinary gamers where they gave him the opportunity to explain himself and all he did was dig a deeper hole. And that's, right. you know, at least legally speaking, everything's above board. And I understand that the, the question isn't so much legality and so much more about morality in you know, me advertising this event and and showing people sponsors and all that stuff. The core of this issue lies in Gerard's Open Hand Foundation. Allegations have surfaced suggesting that the funds raised for the Open Hand Charity, purportedly aimed at finding a cure for frontotemporal dementia, were never donated. And contrasts sharply with how Gerard hasn't really said anything publicly besides that private conversation that was made public between Carl Jobs and some ordinary gamers. Um, to answer your question, Carl, I don't have an answer. You know, I think that's my fuck up. Um, I I have personally donated to AFTD and Alzheimer's Association over the years. And that's where, again, I assumed the money was going there to support them as we were talking negotiations um, about working with them. I, mm -hmm. I don't really have a, a true answer for that. The gravity of the situation is magnified by the fact that Gerard, a respected figure, or at least once respected figure in the YouTube gaming community, continued to solicit donations even after allegedly discovering the funds weren't being appropriately allocated. And Gerard's excuse for this is he can't find a worthy cause for frontotemporal dementia. After 10 years of raising funds, his only excuse is I can't find the right place to give it. And I don't want it to go to pay some doctor's salary. Hold up for a second, by the way. Why don't you want to pay a doctor's salary with it? Like, they're the ones working for a cure. Like, that's part of the point of all of this. Money doesn't just go magically into some fund and then just magically a result comes out of it. You need to pay people to work for them to get to that end result. But regardless of that, the point of this video is the interesting dynamic of the public sentiment turning on Gerard. After I made my second video talking about how bad this could be and got like 50% likes, not even, people were really upset at me for questioning the potential possibility that maybe Gerard is not on the up and up with any of this and how bad it could end up being for him if that is to be the case. And like I said in that video, 
don't meet your heroes. People are getting mad at me because this is someone that we've all grown to love over the years. This is someone who we watch, dedicate a lot of time to, enjoying his videos and feeling like overall he's a really good guy. And like I said, many people have met this guy and say he's awesome. I've had a couple interactions with him, seem pretty cool to me, but you never know what's going on under the surface. And then I made a follow-up video talking about how Open Hand Foundation sent a silence order to Carl Jobs' video trying to get it taken down and the public sentiment shifted on a dime. And in those videos, I talked about how this kind of reminds me a little bit of the Pro Jared situation. Ironically, another member of Normal Boots, the group <laughs> that the completionist is also a part of. Two major scandals in the course of five years from two people in a small group of people is kind of sketch. Let's be honest about that. But at least with the Pro Jared situation, he came forward after a lot of silence with receipts, proving that the people he had been sending those questionable photos to were not minors and that it was all okay in the eyes of the law. If you ask me, he's still a super sketchy human being. Even with showing those receipts, people think that it like absolved him from everything. I'm like, no, okay. He wasn't illegally sending nudes to underage people, but just to be someone in that predicament, sending nudes to fans, just it speaks a lot to your character, which is exactly what I feel like is happening right now with The Completionist. Why are you not saying anything, Gerard? Did you consult with a lawyer and they told you not to say anything? I mean, if that's the case, not that you're absolutely guilty, but it certainly implies that you know you're in deep shit right now. But what I don't want to get lost in all of this is, as awful as this situation may seem on the surface, the real problem gets lost in people trying to defend Gerard, and that is the money that was donated has not gone anywhere. At least as far as we know. As I said in a previous video, all we have is tax returns showing information of what they're telling us. We don't have bank notes, bank receipts, bank information, bank anything that proves the funds are actually there and that they didn't withdraw them or spend them on something else. We have no proof of anything. And if we're going to trust Gerard, we're going to be trusting a guy that already lied to our face, telling us that these funds are going to help cure dementia, telling us that they are already helping people. And his website is even lying to you, telling you that these funds are going to the UCSF, which they're not. He is lying to you. And I know it's hard if you really like this guy to turn against him, but if someone is openly lying to you time and time again about the shadiness of his foundation, the questionable donations that haven't gone anywhere, the questionable website that has a guy that was fired for financial reasons from UCSF as the only quote telling everyone about how happy they are with the donation that they never got, there's just too much smelling weird about all this. Ultimately, the lost opportunity for meaningful research and assistance in the field of frontotemporal dementia is the real problem. Years of potential advancements and support have been squandered, and that's the best result from all of this. Worst case scenario, it goes far deeper. And the more I look into this, and the more quiet Gerard is, the more I start leaning towards, oh boy, this guy really is in a heap of trouble. For Gerard, the path forward is obvious. It has to involve transparency, coming forward, telling people you lied to their face, why you feel awful about it, why you did it initially, and tell us where the funds are, where they're going, cut the check immediately. And even if it takes a few days or a few weeks to get that amount of money from one source to another, Tell people that's what you're doing right now. The silence is deafening. It's kind of funny how the most recent video I made about the situation completely shifted the dynamic of the public perception of who Gerard is as a person. Where my initial take was, here's the information. My second take was, here's how bad it could be and everyone hated on me for that. My third take was, oh man, they silenced Carl Jobs and they're trying to shut down his video and everyone woke up and they're like, oh, wait a second. Maybe Smash was right. Maybe Gerard isn't the golden child that we all thought he was. Maybe this does go to a much darker place. I don't want to see the worst things happen here. I genuinely don't. I think Gerard 
is a good dude. I don't want the worst case scenario to come true here. But the more quiet he is, the more he stays silent as the days pass, the more it kind of indicts him on being the guy in the wrong here. Not openly communicating with his fans. And more importantly, not openly communicating with the people who donated money to this foundation expecting some sort of outcome from it. That, at the end of the day, is just a huge slap in the face to everyone who trusted them with the donation. The situation with Gerard and the Open Hand Charity isn't just a scandal on the surface. It's a stark reminder of the responsibilities that come with public trust, especially in the philanthropic realm. The gaming community, and more importantly the public at large, deserve an answer as to what happened. Why you didn't spend the funds like you said you did. Why you didn't find a place after you found out the funds weren't being spent. Why you kept asking for more donations after you knew the money wasn't going anywhere. And why you haven't said anything since this came to light. What is happening? Answer us! Say something! Because otherwise, this is a career-ending injury. This is speed running to complete your career, just like you do with all your games and your videos. Gerard, I want the best to come out of this. I want you to be successful. I want all the right things to happen. But that can't happen unless you say something and do the right thing. But until then, I guess all we can do is just keep on waiting, knowing that with every moment passing, it makes Gerard look more and more guilty. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. Because I haven't found a benefactor that I'm completely happy with. And I want to make sure that this money goes to a good cause in honor of my mom. And I'm upset that the conversations I've had haven't gone the way that I wanted. And I'm willing at this point to just donate the money to whoever. I want it to go in the right spot. I don't want it to go to some, some doctor's salary. Smash, Jay, Smash, Jay, Smash, Jay, Smash, Jay.